How is it going on everybody? My name is Becoming the Manchester, so welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the first ever official video, not shorts, official video on Call of Duty Vanguard. Now, Call of Duty has just released a brand new teaser for the event that is going to be happening inside Warzone. August the 19th, we're going to have a reveal event inside of Warzone, which we're going to see the brand new Call of Duty, Call of Duty Vanguard. Now, in the upcoming week, we have gotten, you know, our sort of reeks and some official teasers by Call of Duty themselves. They've shown a little bits of teasers here and there that teased every single aspect of the game. And they sent it out to YouTubers from various regions, like UK YouTubers, Russian YouTubers, Australian YouTubers, and American in uh, slash Indian YouTubers. Now ju they just released a complete trailer for the event, and here it is. Watch it completely. After that, we're gonna talk. If you've already seen it, there are timestamps down below. You can just click and just go straight to the discussion. It was cool, right? So we kind of see all those teasers what we got before, but extended and put together. Like the first one, we saw the sniper, you know, inside of a house. The outside was a train. It was snowing, and that sniper we assumed was the exact same sniper that shot us in Warzone, one of the alternative endings to Warzone. She shot us down, and we figured she could be Lady Death. I mean, at least a character based on her, the deadliest female sniper in World War II. And now that it pans out a little bit, we can see a female soldier's face on the wall so it shows which teaser was associated with which character. Now we get into the characters a bit more later on the video. And this first teaser was sent out to Russian YouTubers. The second teaser we get was sent out to Australian YouTubers. We saw a lot of grenades on the ground, the Australian flag on the ground, and it pans up from the Task Force Vanguard's logo, artillery ammo and all sort of ammo, and it comes up to reveal a face which is an Australian soldier from our campaign, probably. Then then we see the third teaser that we got. I mean, actually, this was the first teaser that we got, but in the trailer, it's the third. It was sent out to UK YouTubers, and it's in the jungle. We see grenades on the ground, helmets on the ground. Now, we see Sergeant Kingsley's badge on the ground. He was a soldier in World War II, and it pans out a little bit. And as it's panning out, we see the Task Force Vanguard's logo again. Another sign, then it comes out to reveal another face, which is another one of our crew in the probably campaign of Vanguard. And in our final teaser, we see a crashed plane, which is burning down. It's coming out a little bit. We see the jacket on the ground that I mentioned in my teaser video. It says, no guns, glory. Coming out to see ammo. Another shot of the Tasker Vanguard's logo. And finally, we see another face. Now, at the end, it says, see them rise. So probably the campaign is going to be focusing around these four soldiers and what journey they have to go. And finally, we see them all in a shot that was previously being leaked through Cold War's game files. For some reason, they put it in there, probably to build hype, but we get an official look at Call of Duty Vanguard's logo, which is, I think, looks really sick. War World War Reveal in Warzone on August 19th, as I said, it it's gonna happen on August 19th, 10.30 PT, and I think it's gonna be sick. Now, let's go back a little bit into the soldiers again. Now, if I had to assume that lady right there is Lady Death, and she's associated with this teaser, The black guy in the middle is from this teaser and is associated with the UK side of things. 
The guy on the left, I would assume he's the Australian guy, but he could be American one as well, and vice versa for the other guy. But I'm leaning on the left guy, Australian one. The right guy, American one. I could be 100% wrong, we just have to wait and see, but as I'm seeing it, it's like that. I mean, it's coming out a little bit more, we can see the environment a little bit more. There are trees that are being pushed back, probably we get dynamic weather in the game. I mean, it's kind of been leaked, but from the image itself, I could guess that that is coming into the game. We could see planes that was yeah, also rumored to come in Warzone and Vanguard itself, which is really liked when they're shown in here, and they showed it in the Crash Plane teaser. Uh, now, as far as the story goes, I mean, we don't know nothing about the story, but just because it is connected to the universe, the whole universe. Now, it has Modern Warfare 2019 in it, and it has Black Ops in it, all of them. It, it wasn't rebooted, the Black Ops universe, so we probably could be seeing Reznov coming back in any shape or form, like, because World at War was at World War II, Reznov was in it. Black Ops 1 was almost at Cold War, Reznov was almost in it. So in this time period, which Vanguard is probably gonna take place, we should be seeing a Reznov. I mean, it would make total sense. Or maybe they want to just go another route, but I doubt it. I mean, as I just could have a cameo, seeing a little cameo in it, that could be good as well. But we could see Captain Price as well, because we see Task Force Vanguard, and they show it a lot. This could be, I don't know, Task Force Vanguard could be these four characters. But, just because it is Task Force, and it could be, I mean, I'm just reaching out here, but Captain Price was in Call of Duty 1 and 2, Captain Price's grandfather was probably in Call of Duty 1 and 2, but somebody from Captain Price's origin could make a cameo as well. So Captain Price's origin, Reznov, these two characters I really would love to see in this game. Now on the gameplay-wise side of things, I think it's been rumored that it's going to be on the Modern Warfare 2019 engine. If they correct the colors of that game, because it was gray as hell, if they correct those colors, that would be a fantastic graphical game because Modern Warfare 2019 had amazing graphics. The only problem with it was it was dry and it was gray. If they fixed that, it would be amazing. But right now, we only saw cinematic trailers. Probably gameplay reveal is going to be, I mean, alongside of our journey. I don't think we're gonna see it on August 19th as well, but who knows? We could see a snippet of gameplay. Overall, I'm really excited about this game. I mean, I just love a World War 2 game, and it's Call of Duty, I love Call of Duty World War 2, from the leaks, from everything, this game is, hopefully, seems like it's really good, and we just have to wait and see. August 19th, the reveal is gonna happen, I'm not gonna stream it, but I will be having a video exactly when it happens, just right after that, alongside the pre-order bonuses and a lot of things that you could see, so please make sure to subscribe to the channel, because I'm going to cover the hell out of this game, and I don't want you to miss any of it. Thanks everybody for watching the video, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to like the like button and seriously consider subscribing. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and night, and I will be seeing you guys later on, actually August 19th, I'll see you guys at the reveal, take care.